And we had Kurt Benkert on the show. Kurt Benkert spent time in that locker room in Green Bay, said Jordan Love's got this, called it before the last season happened. Then, of course, Love lit it up, especially down the stretch, well, him and Aaron Jones, who's now departed. And this sort of got me thinking, uh, because when I asked Kurt, he didn't really give... Uh, yes, pay him. He didn't really, but I also asked him, like, what is the hesitancy with paying him? So I thought I'd get a more emphatic, no hesitancy, pay the man. Listen, if you're not aware, Jordan is entering the last year of his deal with the Packers. Our boy Goody, he's got a decision on his desk. He can try to, you know, hide it under folders and, uh, you know, Rolodexes, all he wants, that, that file is right there. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Goody? Does he pay love? off of a good season, a great season, good slash great season as a starter, or does he let him play this year? Does he let him risk Jordan playing his way into a much bigger contract? Hmm. A franchise tag situation, or do you let Jordan Love hit the open market? I don't know, I don't know what he's gonna do. I've seen articles out there preaching caution for Goody. Kurt, Ben Kurt said that the Packers need to be careful not to get into a Daniel Jones situation by paying him too early. Oh, I hated that. If I'm Goody, I'm doing everything I can, focusing, clearing everything else off my desk up there uh, in Green Bay, and just, like cheese curds aside, piggly wiggly flyers, get out of the way. I'm only focused on getting this deal done. First of all, Jordan showed me everything, everything I needed to see down the stretch. And if you forgot, Take a look at this. Over the second half of the season, love. We love love. Love was the NFL's leading passer. He threw 18 touchdowns, one interception. You think that's a joke? You think that's like not? Come on, this is a monster here. Leading the Packers to a playoff spot, right? That, you know, first round beatdown of the Cowboys. Mwah. McCarthy in the shed. Mwah. Aaron Jones, kind of a factor. Mwah, blah, blah. Um, we're not going to talk about Aaron Jones. Uh, every time we talk about the Packers this year, but I probably will. I'll work his way into the conversation. Um, but love got, love got better and better, more comfortable as the year went on. Youngest supporting cast in the entire NFL. They weren't supposed to be there. Was it a fluke? Is that what you're saying if you don't get a deal? Was it a fluke, Goody? Did you not make the right decisions pulling this, these young guys together to develop chemistry and ball out? I believe, I believe love's only going to get better, and he's only going to continue to build with his receivers and it's all going to follow through in an NFC that you could just roll through right now, potentially. Now, if you can lock him in right now at that value, which you should be able to given he's only been a starter for one year, why wouldn't you? What's the argument against it? Make him an offer like the one the Giants gave Daniel Jones that slots him in top 11, top 12 uh, among high-paid quarterbacks. Would Jordan pass on $40 million a year? To, to make a bet on himself, I don't know. Make him say no and go from there. It's unique. It's kind of fun. It's something I talked about a lot during Super Bowl week, but I feel like nobody's really really digging into the love ball of this. Um, Goody. Goody. Don't get cold feet, Goody. Don't do it, Packers. Get it done. Show some faith in your quarterback. And I have faith in them because they seem to do things pretty well at the quarterback spot, if we're being honest.